Hello everyone and welcome back to 530 Projects. I just pulled version 2 of my sawn off light switch off the printer and I thought I'd show an assembly video of how to put it all together. So I'll go ahead and get these pieces cleaned up and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to assemble these. This guy prints with a little support material um, because I needed this little square to be protruding. So I'll go ahead and just rip that support material off. And then on these two little nubs, I want to make sure they're square as possible and we don't have any extra overhang. Like that's a little bit of extra overhang here that I need to clean up because these are going to have to fit into the holes of this guy. So we want to clean this all up and make sure this edge is nice and cleaned up too because that will get in the way when we try to assemble it also. Alright, that's not looking too bad, so we'll go ahead and get this cleaned up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, try and assemble it. To assemble this, you should only need a small, flat screwdriver to help you put that, push the actuator into its mounting position. Just stick it through. I'll try to get one side in without breaking it too much. 
Sometimes I find if they're these nubs might be a little long and you can trim them down a little to help get them in. And it doesn't take much, just a little bit. Let's trim this one up. Alright, so you get the one side in, and then this side seems almost impossible to get in. But what you do, is you take your screwdriver and you put it right next to the nub. And you're going just a little ways, and then you, as you pry down on it, you're both opening up the hole and also pushing down on the actuator. See if we can get this going, just do a little bit at a time. Thumb out of the way. Let's see what's going on. And then there you go. It snaps in there. Now you notice it's pretty stiff, but as I work it back and forth, it gets looser and much, much easier to operate. Yeah, now it's in there really loose. And that's plenty of throw. That's all the more needs to go. So there's that. Now take our saw off. And you can kind of see, I don't know if I can catch it on camera. There's a real little square right there in the track that the sawn off PCB slides in and that mates up with this little cutout the glare out of the way it mates up with that little cutout so you can only put this in one way go ahead and slide the sawn off in make sure he's down all the way looks pretty good and now for the part that makes this version 2 and easier to assemble this little piece this is what I'm calling the paddle it pivots on these two little tabs and it hits the button the actuator presses on this square and this uh, attaches to the button on the sawn off and that's what actuates the relay to turn the light on and off so to assemble it you just put this inside those two little mounting tabs like so it just rests in there and sets in there like that and as you can kind of see this is how it actuates you go down or up and it pushes on it and it pivots on the two mounting tabs and pushes on the button so once you got that on there and then see if I can do this on camera you, you gotta hold this pretty well flat because you don't want this to fall out because it's just resting in there. You got to line up the button to go in the hole. There. You can kind of see there the button's going into the hole there. Then just squeeze each side to get it in the tabs. Hold it and there it is. There you go. That is version two of my light switch. I saw my light switch. And I almost forgot that I need to tap the two holes to mount the switch plate cover to this switch when we get it installed. To do that, you just need a 632 tap. And then we'll run that into these two holes here. Tap the threads and the plastic for the uh, screws. Ideally, you would do this before you put the actuator in, but you can still do it. So I'll go ahead and pull this apart and tap those two holes.
All right, and there's one done. We'll go ahead and do the next one. All right, there's that. And I have one of the screws that holds on the face plate. I'm just going to give that a little test fit. Seems to go in there pretty good. I'll try the second one. Seems to go in there pretty good as well. Very good. Now I'll just reassemble and pull the paddle off the button. Put it back into its two little pivoting mounts. Just make sure the button goes in the hole there. And squeeze the two little tabs. Well, there it is. Now you gotta do is add some wires to here. So you got your line and your neutral side. And another one coming out your load side here. You don't you can use the neutral if you want. You don't necessarily need to. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Links for the um, STL file so you can print your own and for the code will be in the description. If you find that your button's not actuating very smoothly, you can come in here and you can clean up this edge here. These edges, these right up against the side wall here. And sometimes they can catch They're right on the sidewall just to keep it in place on the little pivots. So I'll go ahead and clean that up and put that back together. There, now that's much better. So now I can feel it click, click, clicking the button this way and clicking the button this way. Of course, it doesn't take very much to move that button because you have a little mechanical advantage with the lever, but.